So today, we're going to replace a battery in an N64 game that's frankly seen better days. <laughs> a little beat up. Uh, but this is the only N64 game I have that has a battery. So, Alright, like all Nintendo cartridges, you use the small game bit to get it open. Right. Undo the game bit screws, set them aside here. Now, N64 games are a lot more complicated to get open than the Nintendo or Super Nintendo. So you pull on them. This comes off. Ugh. What happened here? Something got in there at some point. What the hell? Anyway, um, so the cartridges have shielding. And I'm not sure why they made this so complicated, but to get the shielding off, you need a uh, small... Phillips head screwdriver. Get these two screws out. Oh, they're in there sometimes tight, so you don't want to don't want to force it. But don't be afraid to put a little elbow grease behind it. You know, it's when having it's when having the proper tools helps. You know. Okay, so now we can take the shielding off. There, comes off. Here's what happened here. All right, and here's a battery right there on top. Something else that the N64 cartridges have is this shield here. It goes over the slots. I'll show you how to put, sure how to put that back in. Now this bottom shielding looks okay. Oh. Something got in here. Water must have got in here soda or something. Must have got in this cartridge at some point. I don't know. I bought it used. So anyway. So here's our N64 board. On this one, the positive, positive side of the battery is the one that's the side with the writing on it. The positive uh, peg or tab is going to the top of the board. So you want to keep that in mind. The negative is going to the bottom. So, all right, grab our helping hands. Right. Tighten things down. All right. Clean off our iron. We always have a nice clean iron. Put a touch of solder on there. Get our solder sucker ready. Heat up the tab and the pad and the solder pad on the board at the same time. Suck off the solder. That came off really well. I think we might get lucky on this one and not have to do any additional steps to get the battery out, maybe. Hmm? Let's hope. Right, do the same thing to the negative side. No, okay. We are going to have to grab our pliers. What we're doing is we're gently, we're just grabbing the battery. We're not cranking on it. We're not prying with it. We're heating up the solder on the board and just gently pulling. And there you go. The whole battery came out. Didn't need to do anything to the negative side. That's cool. Let's inspect our holes. The holes look clear. See, see light through them. So, we will grab our new CR2032 battery. This is a CR2, yes. <laughs> it's the one with the right, uh, positive is the side with the writing on it, so this is our positive tab. If we remember, positive tab is towards the top of the board on this game. Other games might have it slightly different. Negative tab goes towards the bottom. Is that going to stay? That's not going to stay. So, since the battery won't stay in place for us, we will grab some artist tape. 
I like to use uh, paper-based tape to hold my components on if they're not being cooperative because plastic tape like scotch tape or something like that might melt. Remember, you're dealing with solder and heat here, so... Tape that down well. Peel it back a little so I don't... Yeah, it's paper-based. That doesn't mean it won't <laughs> burn or stink up the house, huh? So, all right, put a little bit of solder on the iron, and then we'll heat up the pad and the tab, apply our new solder. Oops, oh damn. There we go, that looks good. You may have saw, I don't know if you saw it on camera, got some solder that came off the solder pad, but this green stuff is called solder mask, and it won't let solder stick to it. So, the solder mask helped us do a better job than apparently we were doing ourselves. So, all right. So let's do the negative side. A little solder. Put a little solder on the iron to help it transfer heat. So a dry iron run doesn't transfer heat very well. So, you have the tab and the pad. Put our new solder on. Let it sit there for a second. Make sure the heat transfers well. And there we go. I think we're done. Look at our work here. Yeah, we got it. Looks like we got a nice looking solder joint. Everything. It doesn't look like there's a hole. You know, it looks like it's completely touching everything. Okay, let's get this out. How is this? This game looks pretty clean, actually. I might clean it later, just to make sure. Okay, now we got to try to put this this thing back together. Uh, when you're taking stuff apart, don't be afraid to take pictures. I've had a couple N64 games apart, though, so I don't I don't need them. But you take the bottom of the cartridge, no, the top of the cartridge. I'm sorry, bad me. Um, you take the top of the cartridge, make sure that the shielding is in there. Again, the shielding is unique. These little tabs are will prevent you from putting things in, in wrong. Then you take this black part and you put it over the card edge. And if you did it right, things will just drop right in. <laughs> uh, if you don't do it right, things won't quite fit. This black piece will keep it from fitting. Why? I don't know why they had to make this car this cartridge so complicated. It's kind of annoying. All right, now this piece of shielding goes over everything, and you kind of push it in so that it makes contact all the way around. Should I clean this up? Maybe some other day. I'll clean up that rust. Take some emery paper or something. All right, so this the shielding. The top shielding is on, feels like it's on there well. Now we need to screw it down with its tiny screws. Must have been new. You know, there must have been new FCC regulations or something that caused them to have to complicate this. Put shielding in the cartridge and all that. Okay. Everything's fitting well. Put the back of the cartridge back on. Get our game game bit screws. Screw it down. All right. Let's test this out. See if it worked. All right. Now, I'm not entirely sure which what saves with the battery. <laughs> A score? Maybe? I don't know. Well, here, let's just change all the batteries, all the, uh, the options here. Reset. Things get synced up here. Yeah, yeah. Don't have a roll pack in. Oops. 
All right. And all the uh, options stayed. So I wonder what happens if I turn it off, though. Then turn it back on. Get the Frame Meister and my TV time to sync up here. There we are. The options should be there. Okay, yes, and the options are still the way I had them set. So the battery works. Excellent. Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out my battery replacement video for N64 games. I have several videos on replacing batteries and other minor video game repairs. Check them out in the playlist I've linked to here. And if you like video game reviews, I do those too.